This is America. If there's one thing history teaches us, it's that it repeats itself. Had the Redskins been properly equipped with firearms and gunpowder, they may have successfully thwarted the European invasion. But they were not prepared. Two men, self-taught in the ways of survival, excessively prepared for any threat, foreign, domestic, or biblical. Their primary objective? The security of their family in the event of global catastrophe or weather-related power outage. What's your tale, Nightingale, you say? Two men in a bunker. It's the story written by Robert Cassiello and Jonathan Payne. The story of two best friends in a small Mississippi town who are doomsday preppers preparing for the worst and hoping for it. We follow the story of Barry, codenamed Whitehawk, half cocked and all heart, no mumbo jumbo, as he follows in the tactical footprints of his best friend and personal champion, Zane, codenamed Cone Falcon. Sure, Barry may be a little wet behind the ears, but he's no whippersnapper. Bag, Barry! Barry, take the bag! The end is coming. And our only hope as a civilization <laughs> is for the story of Barry and Zane, two men in a bunker, to get the green light. Otherwise, communists will infiltrate your subdivision. Have you been compromised? No, I'm not. Have I'm, you been I'm compromised? Not, I'm not. Some say the American dream is dead. Some say it never existed. As long as men like Barry and Zane exist, the American dream is alive. And armed to the teeth.